I got involved with the Ansari X Prize uh, initially for a very personal reason. I always dreamed of going to space and wanted to be an astronaut, but never got the opportunity for various reasons. And finally, when I had the opportunity to pursue something to take me to space, my choices were between investing in individual companies making spaceships, which I didn't know anything about, or making an investment in the Ansari X Prize, whereby all these companies could compete and then I would get to fly the winning design. So it was a perfectly you know, logical decision for us and for my family to make and uh, it was a great investment we did. I'm fortunate to have a family that's been very supportive of a lot of our crazy endeavors. Uh, my husband and I have been working together for a long time. My sister and uh, his brother have always been partnering crime with us. My brother-in-law shares this passion with me, so I didn't have to do it alone. I first had to recruit him, uh, and uh, he was on board immediately between the two of us. We were very convincing that this is not only good uh, for us, but it's something that will start uh, a whole industry that will allow generations after us to be able to enjoy access to space, and it doesn't have to stop with just us flying to space, and it could expand and really grow, and it's a really pivotal time to do this. And they trust us generally, so they got right behind it, and we were able to do it. A lot of people ask me if this was a difficult decision for you to decide that you want to go to space. Uh, to me, I was just, uh, I felt it's a privilege, you know. Not many people have been able to fly to space and the fact that I got an opportunity to do it, it was a privilege and I was so excited beyond comprehension. And I always knew flying to space is risky. Uh, you may lose your life and that was never a reason to stop me, so I never thought twice about it. Even though it may seem difficult for many people, when you're passionate about something, I think sometimes you're ready to pay any price to achieve what's important for you, and that's the case for me. The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology. Oh my God, I remember for the first flight, uh, X1, uh, Mike Melville was supposed to fly I remember it was very, very early in the morning. It was very dark and very cold, and the wind was blowing. And everyone's talking about perhaps we can't have the flight today, and we may have to scrub and then schedule another flight. So first, I, of course, didn't mind having another time, but uh, I was worried that, you know, just generally worried because I had no idea of what will be the outcome. There was no sure way uh, to know. But I was excited, and I wanted Mike to have a perfectly... Uh, safe flight and actually make the uh, 100 kilometer or 60 mile uh, threshold and win, you know, at least win the first step toward the prize. So I remember I was very nervous. I prayed and prayed the night before. I don't think I got a wink of sleep. And uh, uh, we all headed down out to the uh, flight uh, area. And after about an hour or two, the wind started dying down and the sun started coming up and started warming up and it was a beautiful day. And of course, his flight was not without its excitement, as everyone remembers. Uh, as he got close to the top, the spaceship once started sort of spinning and I had no idea what was going on. I'm not uh, a pilot, but uh, I was just listening, listening intensively to see if something's really wrong. And then when I heard him uh, over the walkie-talkie saying, everything's fine, I'm going to go for it, I was relieved. And he did it. He made it happen. And I was so happy. I remember I screamed so loud when they announced he's actually landed safely. And uh, Peter and I were close to each other. I think we both had tears in our eyes and jumped up and down. It's like, OK, the first step is done. <laughs> now on to the next step. I think I had as much excitement, if not more, on October 4th. I was ready 
to go out there and I had done all my prayers again and the same routine and we got there and it was perfect weather, everything seemed to be perfect and I think the excitement was very high and intensity was very high amongst the crowd. I think everyone could sense it, uh, everyone being very tense and, and uh, finally when we got time to, uh, you know, it was getting close to the time of the flight. We were all right there watching the takeoff and uh, I remember I wanted to actually go on the chaser plane and watch it close up because that would be my last chance to do it and Peter talked to me and said, no, no, we need you down here. We need you to be here when they land. I'm like, okay. So I didn't get to go up there and watch it up close, but I watched it on the Jumbotrons and of course um, Brian Binney just nailed it. Perfect flight, uh, made it seem so easy and we were all very excited that he made it and the prize was won and we were celebrating after that. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. I'm very happy that I've been able to inspire a lot of young women all over the world because as you know, I come from the Middle East region and the uh, opportunities are even smaller for women in that region. So I'm glad to see that I've become a role model for them as well and that they look up to me and know that if there are things they want to accomplish in their lives, whatever they are, and if someone tells them it's not appropriate for them or that they shouldn't be doing it or going after it, that there's no reason they should listen to those naysayers and that they should go after it. And I spent some of my time going to different organizations, uh, speaking events, uh, especially where I can speak to women directly or young girls. That's another area of my interest to make sure I get young girls interested and especially get them interested to go into STEM education and not be uh, shy of uh, things that people tell them is hard, you know, it's not for a girl and uh, show them how much fun it can be and how much they can enjoy it. It has completely changed my life in a way that uh, I feel empowered. Uh, I've seen with my own eyes how a small group of people can make big changes happen. And I'm glad that the XPRIZE Foundation has expanded into other areas because when you have a very dedicated and passionate group of people that can inspire others to join forces with them, they can make big changes happen. And I see that XPRIZE Foundation will be making a lot of big changes happen in the future, all for good.